How you doing, folks? It's Ron from Ron's Beers and Tools. I have a beer to showcase today, as you can see in front of you. From Victory Brewing Company. Now, they're located in three locations in Pennsylvania. Downington, Pennsylvania. Parksburg, Pennsylvania. And Kenneth Square. Now, I don't know if that's a township or a county, but uh, Kenneth Square is a uh, pretty big size. I have to kind of laugh a little when I hear about Kenneth Square. Uh, basically, um, I understand and I know it to be literally probably the mushroom capital of the northeast of the, of the United States, maybe. Uh, the North America, maybe. I don't know, but uh, it's. I think they grow like a million pounds a day come out of Kenneth Square mushrooms. I see, you see the trucks a lot in the highways in the upper states of New England and so forth in the green trucks and so forth. But anyway, that's Kenneth Square. Uh, there's a brewery there also in Kenneth Square, Victory Brewing Company. Like I say, three locations. And what you see in front of you is their homegrown new American lager. Now, I'm a big lager lover. I love my lagers. And this sounds like uh, something I'd really like. And what they're saying about the homegrown, it's, it's, we'll get into that. It'll be the hops that are in this All-American hops. Let's look at the can. I really can't make out the writing on this. Uh, cursive uh, writing is um, a little hard to decipher. I can get some words out of a light, uh, light straw, something, some numbers, All-American hop. And uh, saying that it's dry hopped. It's a full flavor dry finish, and I can't read any other words, so if you pause it, maybe you can make out what they're trying to say there. Um, taste victory responsibly. Now, victory, that is a V sign. Uh, from my whole time in the military and before then, even way back to Winston Churchill, when you did the, the victory sign with the two fingers, you know, victory, raise it up, victory, that was a victory sign. Uh, I think uh, some of the, the hippies this whole thought it was a peace sign. <laughs> I know uh, American soldiers and military folks should be giving each other the victory. So we got victory in whatever war they are in. And uh, people thought it was a, a, a B-side, I guess. But anyways, enough of that history. Historical fact. Okay, back to what they're saying. Taste victory responsibly. That's true. If you're going to drink, be responsible for what you do after you drink. Don't drive. Victory homegrown new American lager. Now, this is a pale lager, this style here. American whole flower hops. When they say American, uh, correction, when they say whole flower hop, flo, whole, f <laughs> that's a mouthful, whole flower hops, what they mean is that it's the whole flower, not just the cone. Have you ever seen hops? Uh, they take the cone out and do what they're going to do, process it to pellets, or however they're going to do it to put it in the beer. But this is the whole flower of the hop. There's a hop, is the flower of the humulus lupus plan, I guess. Um, it's one way of making beer with the whole flour. I presume, because it's in here, uh, you get a juicy resinous aromas through a body of raw gold in this bold new American lager. Yeah, I can believe that when I tell you the hops in this. Uh, this is a 4.8% by volume. They, don't, they do not give the international bid units. Victory Brewing Company, Downington, Pennsylvania. They just give that one um, address here. Maybe that's what that, that one can or style of beer was brewed from. So uh, let's see if we got any of their words. Not much on their on their page when I went to their uh, their uh, home page for their brewing. But uh, we did find a little information that this brewery was founded in 1996 by a couple of gentlemen, two co-founders, Mr. Ron Bachetta Jr., and Mr. Bill Kovaleski. So uh, they did good because they started one, I think, a brew pub. They both had gone to, to Germany to learn about German brews and beers and hops and uh, how to brew the Pilsner way or the German way, in, which is the period laws there that they have. And they both kind of got an education in Germany before coming back and getting together and starting this brewery. Uh, and they've done good, I have to admit. The, the parent organization of this brewery, though, is uh, owned by Craft Revolution LLC. So that's like a big conglomerate owning it, I guess. I'm not, not much familiar with 
craft revolution but that's who owns this here so this uh, homegrown lager like I said, it's 4.8% ABV. This is American Pale Lager by style. It has Centennial hops in it, Mosaic hops, Avaca hops, Cascade hops, Chinook hops, and Citra hops. Now, that's a nice array of good hops. Some nice aromas in those, some nice flavors. The malts in this are Pilsner and a Carapils. It's a year-round brew. They got six, like I say, six varieties of American whole flower hops in this. Beer Advocate gave this a 3.74 out of 5. So that's um, good. Okay, let's uh, let's see if we can get a glass in front of us here. No further ado, we got one here. All right, we got a glass. We have a glass. And no further ado, let's see what this looks like. Uh, this is clean. This was just washed, and uh, I like lagers, and I'm excited to to try this uh, homegrown American lagers. I do like lagers. The crispness of the flavor, that, and you do get the malt flavors, and I do like uh, lagers. I have to admit. All right, we're coming to you with this. Uh, you can't see it now. But there's an Anheuser Busch logo on here. Like I say many times, that me and my uh, when my kids were young, we used to go up to every Every summer on vacation, a couple of days, one day we would take up to uh, Mary Mack, New Hampshire, to tour the brewery in either bush, and it was a great tour. Uh -huh. The the horses up there they have in the in the barns up there, the Clydesdale. I know I'm saying the Boston accent, horses. It should be horses, hor hor horses, not not horses, horses. There's an R in there someplace. <laughs> that's the, that's the New England accent, I guess, or the Boston accent, really. Because so I know down in. Uh, Southern part of Massachusetts, they actually talk a little bit different, uh, the dialect in the Buzzers Bay area. And um, that's another story. All right, this is the pour. It's pouring uh, slightly cloudy, it might clear up. It's yellowish, got a golden body to it, plenty of carbonation, as you can see. Big head on it. Let's see if we can get the drone up. Yeah, it's a lot of bigger bubbles, different size bubbles. That's why you don't get the creaminess on the head. At least the look of a creaminess head. Good size bubbles though. Good combination. We get the drone back, Houston, bring back the drone. Alright. Alright. So, that said, let's uh, see if we can get for a roamer on this. Oh, oh, this is a fine, fine smelling beer. Oh, it doesn't smell like a lager, I have to admit. It's uh, floral, citrusy for sure. You know, the hoppiness that's in this is just merged with all the different uh, ingredients, but the hoppiness can come out very, not overly strong, but strong. I mean, fresh hops. It's not just the hop. Aroma. It's a fresh hop aroma. In the back, toasted malt. It's like a light malt. I mean, it's a pale lager, so you're only going to get a strong malt or any of that uh, biscuity flavor of aroma correction. Biscuity aroma, or even flavor, maybe. I'm getting the Pilsner, though. Like the, the German beers, the Pilsner that they have. I'm getting that. And some breading that you get. Good hops, you get that spiciness I'm getting. Mm, this is a really, <laughs> I can sit here, I guess, and just smell it. And the fresh hops are nice. But they have a good array of hops, and those six hops makes it a good array. All right, no further ado, we're going to give a drink. Cheers, bottoms up. Mmm, mm, that is really good. That is enjoyable. That is a well-brewed beer. Mmm. Oh. A little bitterness at the back. 
I mean, it is, I'm getting the biscuity flavor, like I said, because of the lager. But I'm getting grapefruit. I think that's, that, yeah, definitely grapefruit. Could be the melon, melon type. Because the fruitiness of the hops. Melon orange. All from the hops. Mmm. Excuse my uh, lip smacking and slurping. But this is really brewed good. It's really well brewed. Well, again, some pininess, graininess, mild bitterness, like I say. That grapefruit, I'm getting definitely that's grapefruit. It is crisp because it is a lager. Graininess. The body is uh, mild. It's mild, no, not on the, definitely no parts of the lightness to it. It's strictly a mild beer, uh, body feel, not mild at all, not light at all. Mm. As you can see, went down rather easy. Nice looking brew, look at that. Look at that, picturesque right there. Perfect marriage. A can of... 12 ounce can of beer and a nice glass of beer with a nice head on it. Isn't that nice? That is a nice picture. It is very good photo. Take it, photo, and it'll be <laughs> blow it up. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, Beer Advocate gave this a 3.74 out of 5. That's that's a good rating. The, the, a good rating for this beer. It could even be higher, I, I would think. It could be very good. I think they could have probably went up into the fours, definitely, uh, at least the mid fours, because it is a good taste and good brewed uh, beer, and uh, it's enjoyable. So uh, my hats go off to Mr. Ron Pachetti, Ron Pachet, correction, Mr. Ron Pachet Jr., and Mr. Bill Kovaleski. My hat goes off to you. I salute you. You and your workers have done a good job at the brewery there. We made a fine, fine lager. It is true. It is a new American lager. This is a new flavor. It's got hops. More hoppiness than a regular lager. Again, it's a pale lager. Mm. We're going to get some hoppiness out of that. That paleness of, of the, the lager. The type of lager that it is. That's enjoyable. So, I won't keep this going on any longer. Folks, if you're going to drink... Drink responsibly and don't drive. Don't run machinery. Stay away from that drill press. <laughs> so, if I'm serious, I mean, a lot, but I'm serious. Accidents do happen, and the accident more, accidents happen more so when you've been drinking alcohol of any sort. So, enjoy the day. It's sunny here in New England, at least this part of New England. Uh, it was raining earlier, but the uh, temperature has gone up. There's definitely no more snow on the ground. That's nice. <laughs> So, uh, all you folks down there in New Mexico, Arizona, Texas, it must be really hot down there. It must be seemingly hot down there. Because we're starting to get warm here. Have a good day, folks. Ciao.